Yo, what's up? This is Patrick from Guy in a Cube. And in this Two Minute Tuesday, I wanna show you how to create an animated visual in Power BI. All right, so I was recently working on a project and someone said, Patrick, you know how you can create a animated scatter plot? Wait, 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 it's a Two Minute Tuesday. Instead of all this talking you guys know I like to do, let's head over to my laptop. She said, you know, we can create this animated visual. If I press play here, it's a scatter plot and it'll move It moves nice, you know, and it works. I'm like, yep, we can do that. She goes, well, can we do this for a bar chart or a pie chart? And I go, I think maybe let's try it out. Right. All right. So let's head back to my laptop. So what we did was the very first thing we did was we imported the play axis custom visual. So you go and get it from import visuals from get more visuals or import them from a file just depends right if you click get more visuals and you type in play axis so let's do that if we just type in play boom all right and you'll see right there the play axis the dynamic slicer so go ahead and get it and it's certified and then what we did was we built our bar chart and the key to all of this is to make sure that you sort this by the value the the, the field that you put in the values right here so I'm going to go ahead and do this, sort this by total sales year to date and sort it descending because I want the one with the most sales at the top. OK, so we press play and something interesting happened. The items aren't moving and she kind of looked at me like, yeah, I need these to move up and down based on who has the most sales and who doesn't. And I kind of sit there, sat there for a minute like, hmm. <laughs> and I said, oh, I know what it is. I didn't even have to go take a shower. I know exactly what to do. Let me show you. All right. So let's stop this. And then what you need to do is edit the interactions. By default, all the visuals are set to highlight unless you go and set that property. There's a property that you can set in the option and setting. But by default, the visual is set to highlight. So if we go to format and we click on edit interactions and then make sure that the play axis is selected and you'll see you have two icons here. One is filter. One is highlight. Change it to filter. Right. And then press play. And now watch what happens. Right. You'll see how these guys are going to move. Watch hydration packs. There we go. Bam. They're moving up and down the axis based on that sort because it's filtering the data um, based on what's available, based on what I pass to this play axis. Right. It's great. Just works. And then she said, Patrick, what about a pie chart? I was like, well, OK, if you insist. And so we did the exact same steps here. We set up our play axis to use month, year or whichever element, whichever value you want. And then what we did was we changed it from uh, hang on one second. We changed this from highlight to filter. But I want I want to show you how this behaves with highlight. All right. So I'm going to click stop. Make sure I click stop and press play. And what you're going to see happen is you see how it's going to fill the pie over time. Right. Um, and then as when the entire year is done, it'll go back down um, and start over. That's not what she wanted. She said, Patrick, we're going to sort these since it's sorted by year to date. And I want the smallest amount here and the largest amount there. And they'll move as time goes on. So we press stop and then I change this to filter and then I press play. And then you'll see, right, it's going to start these these categories will start moving based on their year to date values. All right. So if you guys have any questions, comments, you know what to do. Let's continue the conversation where in the comments below. If it's your first time visiting the guy in the cube channel. Hit that subscribe button. You like my video. Give me a big thumbs up. As always, from Adam and myself, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.